so uh, basically evidence based medicine is a uh, 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 judicious and reasonable use of uh, modern best evidences available in making decisions about the care of individual patients so it basically integrates the clinical experience patient values with the best available research information which is contemporary and it also aims to increase the use of high quality clinical research in clinical decision making so yes that is what is evidence based medicine that is why it should be uh, practiced and should be practiced even much more than what it is being practiced nowadays and yes that is my opinion about it. so just to start with it's not a cookbook with recipes but it's it's good that application it, it that is done it brings about a cost effective and better healthcare so in india uh, the, the basic approach to evidence based medicine is with availability of those resources to each and every individual practitioner and then we also need to even start even uh, familiarizing our students not only the doctors but also nurses pharmacists and all the other professionals medics paramedics both and yes that is on the rise in the last few years but definitely there is still a lot of scope for uh, you can say making our students familiarize with it so that whenever they are into practice that there is more implementation of it and definitely comes in various uh, uh, the, the integration of uh, electronic mobile record in day-to-day uh, -day activities with acceptability of the uh, the hospital information systems and the EMRs and it's more uh, you can see utilization by the practitioners uh, so that is where uh, there there is a chance of integrating it with the resources and make it readily available at points of source so like it's 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 not like someone has to read after going back to their office or home but making this resource readily available to the point of care where they are going to be practicing their medicine. So that is how India is definitely uh, uh, not far behind the other countries. Yes, India is now adapting to this kind of solutions. And definitely I see the, the change. And maybe in the coming few years, there will be much more uh, of these integrations. So uh, a traditional clinician decision support software or what we call a CDSS is basically comprised of a software which is designed to be a direct aid to the clinical decision making in which the individual patient characteristics are taken from the hospital information software and the software basically helps with the patient specific assessments so it gives access to multiple uh, calculators which are there and it does help the clinician in get, getting those calculations done. And it also basically uh, it, the, the newer CDSs are being developed with the capability to leverage those data and the observations uh, which are otherwise not obtainable or interpretable by the humans. So that is where we find that CDSS is going to help the clinician. See, having a knowledge of something and making sure that it is implemented. That is where the CDSS comes in or the clinician decision support software. So there can be multiple time types of CDSS which are available. There is a there is a there is a lookup point uh, software where there's no integration as such, but then there are a few which also come with integration. So for the lookup software, you have to specifically look for an information. Yes, that is like a database which is available in which you can find whatever you want to look. And there are like links and guides to it. And then there are a few where it's actually integrated in each and every step of the journey of the patient through a hospital or a outpatient department. Yes, you have said that, you know, uh, not just having the things should uh, be there, uh, there should be implementation of those things. So in in uh, uh, regards to that, uh, you know, I wanted to know that uh, Medanta is the first in class to adopt this technology. Mm -hmm. So how can other hospitals adopt or learn from this? How did uh, you start the journey of CDSs? 
so like first of all uh, it was one of the first hospitals in india to adopt uh, hospital information software a computerized system wherein all the processes are integrated and after that we had a few softwares in the past which were actually integrated but uh, it's, we the, the access to softwares in india is something that is that has been a challenge so in early years we didn't have a very access to a very good software but then we did definitely got whatever is best in available in the country and eventually uh, there are multiple software which are now looking at india as a potential for since india is a place is a country with a lot of potential for medical tourism and now we are getting lots of international patients and then this international patients do expect the same kind of uh, 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 care what they get elsewhere so of late since the last 5 6 years we have been even getting access to those softwares which were not available in india earlier so yes now melanda is also working towards uh, getting those and integrating it so we are in a process of also integrating the best in class available softwares it's already been done there are many hospitals who have actually visited medanta had a look at how we are using it we also had the national uh, ndhm team national digitalization health mission team visiting uh, medanta to actually learn uh, and have a look at how we are uh, implementing processes and checklists so yes uh, we have been collaborating with many organizations so that the give and take of knowledge happens so so yes we we are open to that kind of uh, visits from other hospitals and there are many hospitals who have actually uh, visited and actually adopted quite a few practices so that's not a very easy question to answer so like i told you the first is to make our students aware mm -hmm. right during their colleges mm -hmm. so i think uh, we should ensure most of our educational institutions take access of this particular software and give it to the students second is again the affordability so one big challenge for uh, cdss market in india is the cost involved in getting access because this softwares are available for a very heavy cost so definitely that is one more thing that 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 is a challenge and that should be into how we can make it affordable definitely if most of the hospitals in india take access to this particular software the, the 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 cost will definitely come down so the idea is to make there should be awareness initiative regarding the availability because i think uh, there are many hospitals who are not even aware that there is such kind of tools which are available so that awareness is something that we should be focusing on so that once is awareness is there because uh, i do remember uh, we had our family physician he is like 88 years old young man so he had once inquired that is it any since i i am a clinical pharmacologist by training he asked me is it any possibility to develop a indian solution where it can be made affordable because the 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 the, the access to small nursing home and opd is something which is a problem so then uh, i did had a word with him. we did talk to even other partners and yes they are trying to make this affordable and penetrate to even a uh, small nursing homes and clinics because that is where its actual utility comes in along with the hospitals so like hospital will be having an integrated solution but this penetration is something which is very important for uh, the cds tools to really be used on a wider scale and once it's used on a wider scale it will definitely become more affordable